Okay, so what you guys are gonna see here for about 10 minutes, I'm just doing queixada, queixada, queixada. Basically, until I'm blue in the face. Uh, this is just a version of some of the endurance training that I do just to make sure I can last at least uh, half a minute in the Halda. So, um, yeah, if you guys aren't doing stuff like this, uh, throw it in there. Just see how it works out for you. See how it helps your training, um, your endurance, your cardiovascular, your stamina. Uh, pick a move. It doesn't have to be queixada. It can be anything. It can be au, it can be uh, benção, um, uh, whatever you choose. But basically, I'm just, just picking a move and just doing it over and over. Not only does it help my, my cardiovascular and all that, but it also helps me to work on my form. So basically I have 10 minutes to get it right, at least once. So obviously um, you would think that in the beginning, the more energy you have, the better your technique will be. Well, sometimes that's the case, sometimes it's not. Sometimes um, it takes a while to get into it. And sometimes um, it just takes some time to relax. So you start out with a lot of energy, but then um, you know your technique kind of uh, goes out the window because you have too much energy and you're muscling everything. So with a move like Geshada, you have the ball and chain effect. You're using centrifugal force. Uh, the foot is the ball, your leg is the chain. So um, you really don't want to use a whole lot of uh, muscle. Um, say at least in the legs you want to use the whole body like any strike you're striking with the whole body so um, so again you have 10 minutes to to get that right and to just relax just let the legs swing um, keep your posture right um, focus on your breathing as well I mean you'll see me for a while um, after I get into it and I start relaxing you'll see me slow down actually and that's, I'm basically just focusing on my breathing. So I start to notice I get a little bit tense and um, I just slow down. I don't stop, I just slow down. I keep the same technique, just focus on my breathing, let my oxygen catch up to my oxygen demands by all the muscles and all that. And then um, just keep going. Um, so yeah, you know, you don't have to do 10 minutes, um, especially if you're a beginner. You can do a couple minutes, start off with one, two, three, um, start off with five, and just see where you go from there. You also don't have to go the whole time. You just want to dedicate a certain amount of time to a movement, basically, and kind of pick and choose what you're trying to focus on, whether that be technique, whether that be power, um, breathing, your aiming, um, it could be your stance, it could be your foot placement, anything that you're trying to focus on. And, uh, and uh, basically just keep doing that. So here you go. Um, I just wanted to put this up for the complete 10 minutes just so you guys can see. And this isn't edited, uh, no fancy tricks here. Honestly, I don't think 10 minutes is that long. Um, for all I know, there's guys out there doing 20 minutes. You know, and you know, we live in the age of athletes, so you know this could seem like nothing at all to someone else watching this. So just to give you guys some perspective, um, you want it, you do want to do something like that. You don't just want to just practice your moves. Um, technique is great you know you always you, you want to prioritize for different days but definitely as a martial artist as a capoeirista you want to work on your stamina um, you do not want to get tired before your opponent gets tired Remember, this is a martial art even in even in the harder uh, the long think about it the longer you last the more fun you can have I mean, if your game only, only lasts about 10 seconds because you're tired, um, you're not having a lot of fun, are you? So uh, just think about that. The longer you can last in the Halda, the more fun you can have. The longer you can 
play. The more, the, the more people you can play, um, you know, you can get out the hall and jump in the, in the, uh, in the uh, bateria or vice versa. Go back into playing and, you know, just play all day long. Um, so there you have it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, you don't have to watch. Also, I want you to notice too, um, thanks to my, uh, my dry feet, <laughs> my unmoisturized feet, uh, I'm practicing here on a basketball court. And this isn't wooden, obviously. This is outside, so this is uh, it's a little bit rough. So it's kind of giving me a, a free exfoliation, if you will. And uh, you can see exactly where my feet are placing. So for the most part, I'm pretty consistent. Um, and I'm not too mad at that, actually. Um, so that's a good thing, <laughs> uh, at least to keep it consistent. And um, also for you guys who are still learning the move, Geshada, um, notice how every time I land my foot, I'm in my base, I'm in my cadera. Um, I'm not standing up straight, my feet are wide, I have a good strong base. I like to think so anyways. And um, I'm ready for the next kick. <laughs> So, and also notice this would be impossible um, if I wasn't using body mechanics. If I'm not leading with the shoulder first, um, creating that whole ball and chain effect, um, I'd be tired pretty quickly. Um, I'm not the most fit guy in the world and I'd probably burn out in about a minute or so uh, doing Keshada, just all muscle. So um, I'm really, I'm not applying much force at least until my foot is about to strike or is about to pass the pole that I'm kicking in front of. So, um, and also the, I'm most happy that I didn't actually hit the pole. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to think I have a, 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 a fairly hard foot, but um, that pole is definitely harder than my foot. So, um, I'm pretty happy about that. So, actually, you know, a part of this, this, this exercise, I was practicing my proximity, um, just kicking just in front of the pole. Um, a couple times I had to, to, to bend my knee just slightly um, because I saw myself headed for danger, but uh, that's okay. So again, uh, yeah, just keep watching. And um, again, like I said, just notice the consistency. And I went back the next day to, uh, to do some more exercising and my marks were still there. So I lit, we're in San Diego, I live in San Diego and um, it doesn't rain too often. So, um, and you know, they don't come around with hoses and brooms to sweep the uh, basketball court. So yeah, my, my exfoliated self was still there on the court. So um, I think it rained today though. So I don't, I don't think you can go there and, and uh, check on the proof uh, prove that uh, Ankura was there <laughs> but um, again so uh, there's probably a, there's a couple more minutes left of the video and notice that the video is about 10 minutes long you see me kicking for 10 minutes I'm just I'm wearing my headphones listening to I think uh, Mestre Limina or someone like that some kind of Sobinto Grandi uh, Angola and just letting my mind wander. This could be Jenga. This could be uh, Aul. This could this could be Jole. Something simple. Something I know that I can at least settle into. So you probably wouldn't see me doing parafuso for ten minutes. Uh, for those of you that don't know, parafuso would be your you're spinning, you're jumping, roundhouse. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it for that long. So again, uh, just the rest of the video. There's about 10 seconds left. And there you have it. Ciao.